the game that you weren't going to play? Mm. Uh, what, what, was, what was going through your head? Uh, nothing really. Just, you know, I wanted to play, but hey, got made a decision uh, to not play and got to respect it. Um, that's pretty much it. He said he wants everybody to get a, a few series. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to getting out there on Sunday? Always looking forward to getting out there. Uh, looking forward to going to play. Uh, so always excited. Uh, I mean, like I said, somebody asked me a while ago, I think I got my like pregame jitters out in the green and white scrimmage. I don't think it'd be any different. Like going into Philadelphia, I was calm, cool, collected. I was just ready to go, ready to play. Um, so I, I didn't have any like butterflies or anything like that. But in the green and white scrimmage, I definitely did because it was just a different scenery than a practice, um, the lights and stuff like that. So I don't think it'll be any different. I think I got that, that mental hurdle over with. Maybe something new might arise. And, um, if it does, I'll face it, but I don't really think it'll be any different. Uh, joint practices, do you like, you know, what you're going to be doing with the Giants tomorrow? I mean, we, we just did it with the Falcons. So, I mean, I enjoy, I enjoy football. So, yeah, I, I enjoy football. I like, any, you know, going against different people, competing. Um, so, yeah, it's no different than what happened last week, you know. Uh, always looking to improve. A lot of stuff I want to work on. A lot of stuff I need to get better at. But I, I, I am um, happy with the fact that I'm, I'm improving, um, physically, mentally, spiritually each day. Um, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. So, but I'm, I'll never be satisfied with where I'm at, though. You know, ever. So. How would you, uh, how would you describe Michael Clemens' personality? Everybody seems to use the word serious every time we ask that. Who? Michael Clemens, everybody seems to call him serious as when we ask what his personality is like. Oh, no, Mike's not serious. Like, he's serious, but I mean, he's serious about his, his work, which is why I think everybody in the building loves him. Mike's not a serious dude. Mike's a great dude. Uh, I love everything about Michael Clemens. Him and Jermaine, I love the two rookies. Um, they come to work. They want to get better. They're, they're willing to improve. I mean, I think people say serious because of his, his stature, maybe, but I mean, he's um, – he he could he could have a career in acting after football. I mean, he's 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 uh, a great dude. Does he make jokes too? Is he cracking oh, jokes? Oh, hilarious! He, he's hilarious. He's a great 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 guy. I'm, I'm so glad they added him to the locker room. He kind he kind of leans into the like what you said about his stature being kind of intimidating. He leans into it and says he likes to play with an edge. Do you think that can, is something that can help him? Play with edge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that's 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 our culture. That's the style that we play. That's why he was drafted here. Um, that's why him and Jermaine were drafted. You know, that's why anybody who's added to our D line is is violence and effort. You know, um, and playing with the edge. Uh, and I think a lot of guys in our room have an edge because they they've got something to prove. And then um, it's so many. It's so it's such a talented group that like, if you're not producing or putting something on film, you feel left out. So I mean, it's it, it only makes it. You know, everybody want to compete and be serious and have that edge about them. What's it like being in that room? Because you said it's it's such a talented group, but you know, not everyone's going to get to stay mm -hmm. uh, like a week from now. So, just what is that kind of vibe like at this point in camp? Uh, just like everything else, you appreciate it. You know, you um, you learn to appreciate the the times that our people are in your life. You know, what I'm saying, I, I, you know, everybody's not going to be in the building and everybody, but that doesn't mean you don't grow a connection with them. Um, that you know what I'm saying, so I mean, it, and that doesn't mean you don't pour into that person or get something from that person while they're they're there. So I mean, it's and then it's such a talented group that you know that they're gonna flourish wherever uh, they go if they're not here, you know. So I don't, I don't know. Carl, what do you think you guys can be like as a defensive line with all the talent there is? I mean, we've asked this like a million times. I mean, the sky's the limit, but you know, we just actually have to go out there and, and execute. So I mean. Like I said, the, the sky's the limit. You know, it's, it's so much talent, but it's, it's so many variables and factors that we have to ace. And it starts with little things each and every day, uh, myself included. Uh, just starting, um, just doing the little things right each day, and we can reach our full potential. What's the one thing you really like about the group? Dude, we got a bunch of guys that love football. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we just got a bunch of overall good people. Um, you know, that's uh, that's something I, I, I enjoy coming to work every day, you know? Um, and that's something that's... That's invaluable uh, for me, you know. Going against Brees uh, Hall in practice, just what kind of runner is he? What kind of player can he be? I, I mean, he, he was drafted here uh, for a reason, but I, I could, I really, I've been so focused on trying to get back right in each day, and all they are is just bodies and numbers to me. So, I mean, 
obviously he's talented. Obviously he does a lot of good things. But from my perspective, I have not paid attention. But I mean, I know he's a very talented, you know, uh, player. How long before that the Eagles game did you find out you weren't playing? And what was that conversation like? I just told me what it was. I mean, hey, guy made a decision, and you know, respect it. So it was just like right before the. Um, I think I think after we got off the warm up, you know, said I wasn't playing. So you know, just had to move forward and proceed. I mean, it was, I, I, you could say it added to it, maybe, but I mean, it's um, there, there's a lot of things. I was I was always wanting what I wanted. I always had high aspirations, and I always will. Um, but it just makes you go through a different process and grow as a person. So I don't really think it changed. It, you could say it added to it, yes, but I mean, it was more so about just like the different things that I had to, to grow as a person in order to overcome the new situation. Of course, you you want I want 100 sacks, you know what I'm saying? But you know, yeah, you know, that's that's he just put the highest expectations on myself. Um, but you know, I just but it starts with just getting better each day and controlling my controllables and and ace ace in the small st things and ace in the small steps and just getting better each day. That's that's how I get to that's how I get to my goals. And then you know, and then enjoying the process, even though it's hard. Helps you get the butterflies out. What is it like, though, after what you went through last year? Be so close to the season, and, you know. What, what is it like to be to be get you know that close to you know what you've been waiting almost two years for? To to the next game or the season? Yeah, yeah. I mean, once the game starts, you know, what's it like for you after what you went through last year? Be as close as you are to you know. I mean, it's it's great. You know, uh, it's great and it's it's humbling. Um, but I mean, I don't know. A lot of people ask me. I just really haven't had much time to, to delve down and just, just try to sit there and look back because I'm, you know, I'm constantly just trying to go forward. Um, and maybe that might help me if I just took a step back and be like, hey, I, I've done a good job so far. But I just really, I don't know. I just really haven't sat back and just thought about it. I'm just kind of, you know, just thinking about the next steps uh, of what, of what's what. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be really appreciative of the first games because my. Um, my family's gonna be able to come, and my dad's gonna be able to come, because he hasn't been able to come to a game since uh, before uh, before COVID, you know, because he was at, at risk and stuff like that and all that stuff. So, and then he missed the season, and I missed this past season. So I'm, I'll be excited about that part. But as far as like the the butterflies and what it all takes, I mean, you know, um, I knew I was gonna get back there. All glory to God. Um, so, you know, that's so. I mean, that's that's pretty much it.